Why not exercise in your body and face at the same time? We all know that everything is connected. Combining face yoga with body exercises. I will use yoga as an example because I am doing it every single day in combination with face yoga. You can apply these tips to every kind of strengthening and toning sports like Pilates, gymnastics, aerobics and there are so many more. I will give you some easy examples how to implement face yoga. First of all, when you do your warm-up for your body, do the same for your face. Simply add the wow, wow, wow or some neck and shoulder rotations to your warm-up routine for the body to warm up your shoulders and neck. And do some tapping all over your face and neck and chest to activate the blood circulation and the lymphatic system in your face and neck area. Never skip the warm-up, not for your body and not for your face. While you are doing body exercises, every time you are strengthening your back, opening the chest area and stretching the front line, this is amazing to add, for example, the swan neck. No need to do it like this. Always protect your neck. This is enough. And any type of forward bending is amazing for your face too. It brings a lot of fresh blood to your skin and will help your face to be best provided with fresh nutrients and oxygens. And forward bends release tension in your lower back and neck. Your face will definitely benefit from it. Try to relax your face while forward bending and feel the fresh blood flowing to your face. You should always do a forward bend while you are doing your exercises. Your entire body and face will benefit from it. And when you're doing your cool down, tapping is amazing to be done at the same time to help to detoxify your face. Tip number two. In case you don't want or can't do both at the same time, because you really need to concentrate on your body, Make sure to either relax your face or keep it activated. When you are doing weight training, for example, or any kind of routine where you are training your muscles and build up volume to the muscles, there is no reason why your face muscles should be tensed. Always relax your forehead, never clench your teeth or do crazy facial expressions like in a push-up this is always a sign that the body muscles you are training are not strong enough or already tired. You need to slow down. These muscles need the help from every other muscle, including your face. So remember, everything is connected. And in this case, you should relax your face. But if you are doing sports where your face muscles are sagging down, like jumping or jogging or using a rebounder always keep your face activated not tensed but toned just add a little smile to your face to keep your cheeks in place and not bouncing up and down all the time and tip number three when you have finished your practice think about your face one more time have you done anything that tensed up the facial muscles? Then relax your face. Have you done anything that pulled down your facial muscles? Then activate and lift your face. And if you close your practice with a short meditation or relaxation, you can always add the instant pick me up at the very end to fill yourself with positive energy and self-love and happiness. Make sure to drink enough water and provide your body with healthy food when you are doing body exercises and face yoga. 
you can refresh your face with a 100 times face blush. This will take off sweat and any type of detoxification that your body and your skin did in your face and leave your face with a fresh and rosy glow. A few spritzer of a toner to balance out your pH level and your face will look amazing. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and be sure to claim your free face yoga routine with the link in the description.